Hi, I'm Brett and we're at Tynan Motors and I'm excited. This is our new MY15 WRX. I haven't even seen it yet. And, um... Stop. <laughs> and, uh, it's just been brought down from upstairs. The guys at uh, Tynan's are going to uh, show us some of the fantastic new features of this new model. Remembering this is the car that's got the new two litre direct injection turbo engine that everybody's been excited about around the world. This is the first one that's being delivered here in Australia, so we're pretty excited about it. It's number four out of the first batch of, uh, I think it's 100. And um, my wife's not so sure whether I've got the right colour, but I think I've chosen the right colour. So this is Stefan. So um, let's have a look at the new car, eh? Excited, Brent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's, it's, it's like when I got one up of a VRZ. <laughs> wow. So it looks a bit different, doesn't it? So we all know we've seen this on the internet. Um, this is obviously the real car, which is the new model with the, um, all the new torque vectoring suspension technology, the way it handles differently. The lights look pretty cool. So um, what we're gonna have an opportunity here before we uh, take the car out is gonna get Stefan, he's a bit nervous on the video because um, he, he can talk a leg off a chair when he's trying to sell a car, but he's one of the guys that obviously helps us to get this car from Super Australia, which we're pretty thankful of being the first one. So tell us a bit more about the car we'll as we look at it. We'll bring it to a whole new model brand day. It's got a new two litre uh, turbocharged engine. Now, um, if you have a look down the centre of the console there, Brett, yours is number four of the first release of 100. Oh, okay, so I've got the numbers down here. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So I've got a number right down. Let's get right down in there if you can see. That's a bit, you can't quite see it because it's a different colour. But anyway, so there you go, Zach. You keep recording for me. Okay. There's, uh, other than a 60% stiffer chassis, um, there's some really cool. Um, changes in the instrument cluster, um, including the, uh, the the boost gauge in the centre. They call that the top display. Your free parking camera is also located there as well. So this is what they would call the entry level model because this is our R and D car for for MRT performance. So we haven't um, leveraged it up with the premium model. What's the difference between this yes. and the next level up model? What what can people expect? Uh, mechanically, they're exactly the same. Um, what they have changed, or oh, sorry, the, the differences are would be the, the leather upholstery seats, a sunroof, a satellite navigation with a Harman Kardon stereo, push button start, yep. uh, smart key, so a real keyless entry into the, into the car. Is that similar to the BRZ with yes. the same fault? Exactly, okay. exactly the same. So, this, so the model with the sat nav and the um, heads up is obviously replaces this binnacle here where the the stereo is at the moment. That's correct. Yes. Yeah. And you also so, get automatic headlights and yep. rain sensing wipers. Ah, right, okay. So just, Zach, just get a little bit closer, have a look at the dash. One of the things that's pretty different about this particular model is there's a lot more colour in the LCD display in the front. We can't start the car here because we're still inside. But also this display up the centre up here, Zach, if you want to just get a little bit closer up there, you can see that's a bit different as well. So that's got some of the more options that we can change in the way that what we'll do is we can we've just got to, we've just been allowed to start it. I've got to put my foot on the So the center console is changing differently as well. And um, this one of the things which is one of the classic things from a Subaru, does it do the, the, the sweep on the gauges? Yeah there you go, see? Pretty classic thing from Subaru. Have a look at that again, Zach. So it sweeps all the gauges and then it lights it all up. So um, from our point of view here at MRT, this particular car's got a new Hitachi ECU. Interestingly, we already know from the car being released in other parts of the world, it's got a uh, 1.5 megabyte processor in the chip, which is different to the Forester Turbo, which was released here in Australia back in May in 2013. From the tuning software point of view, the uh, car is already in its better mode for um, early model ECU tuning. That's using the factory ECU, which is a global update, which the guys in uh, London are working very hard on at the moment. This car will go straight back to our workshop after um, my wife drives it this afternoon on the dyno, and we'll be sending the um, data back to the guys so we can start working on the modes and the upgrades here in Australia for the factory ECU tuning. 
But the also good thing is, is this um, ECU has got a lot more power in it and a lot more features that we can then update because it's got a much more powerful processor. So I think from our point of view, the little things that I like, which I saw this car at um, Top Gear Festival a couple of weeks ago when Subaru had these cars on display with the new SDI, um, the things that I like straight away, it's got a more sporty steering wheel. Um, I think the overall display of the car from my initial perception point of view is quite good. Um, it's a step up. It's, it's from a technical driver's ergonomic point of view, I think it's a bit different um, and unique compared to the BRZ, which is our other R&D car at the moment. Remembering I'm getting out of my near standard Evo 10, which is now over uh, seven, six, or, well, probably six years old. It's the MY08 model. Our Evo 10 with the five-speed transmission was the first one in Australia as well. It's now gone through its whole R&D process and effectively put back to standard. I've been driving that for the last couple of weeks, and it's interesting just to see what it's like, um, remembering what it was back then, um, and then jumping out of that into this car. And a lot of people have been a little bit critical about the new WRX and saying, oh, it looks a little bit like a Lancer. Well, I think that is more the way the models are going globally. They've got that chisel front look. Um, you've got to remember the um, global requirements from um, crash test safety is really important and also from a frontal impact important for me, um, uh, commercial um, driver's point of view inside the car, but also people outside the car, that is the um, general public, Subaru has got a lot of challenge because they have to go for a slimmer bonnet scoop because you can't run the old um, early model bonnet scoops that were quite popular on the 03 to the 06 models because they actually don't pass ADR requirements anymore for the external profile of the car. I think the way it looks is um, quite good. I think Subaru have got it right. I think in uh, many, many years since we've gone back to the 01 model, which was the ugly bug eye when they took a major step forward. Um, this car is going to be quite popular, but I think proof will be in the pudding over the next couple of weeks from my road test, which we'll do a video for you soon. And um, for now, I'm just looking forward to taking it for a drive um, before my wife gets to drive it home, because I'm going go-karting with my son, who's on the camera behind me, and he's super keen to get out of here as well. So on behalf of MRT Performance, I want to say thanks to Stefan, who's standing in the background, and um, Tyner Motors here in um, Sydney, who obviously able to get the car quickly for us and also Subaru Australia for releasing the car so early and um, for more information follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram and um, we'll send you some still photos and an update on this car soon. Bye for now.